who farted. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another edition of SourceFed Plays. Sometimes on SourceFed Plays, we like to do indie games like this one. Deck around. And we are joined by the game creator, Chris Lasinski. How are you today, Hello. Chris? Hello. I'm Chris. fantastic. I can't wait. Chris, Chris. my <laughs> voice isn't usually that high pitched. Where, uh, where are you from, Chris? Tell us about yourself. I live in Los Angeles. That's great. Yeah, How do you like right it? Here. It's great. That, Culver City. I agree. My, my jam. Chris, tell us a little bit about Deck Around. Deck Around is like a cross between Balderdash and Urban Dictionary. Okay. You know those games. And uh, it's just a fun word game. You can so play it for free alley. at deckaround.com. You can do a download or you can buy the whole thing. Put yeah. that link in the description, yo. I select a, there's a random slang word selected. From, from a card, from right? A, from a card in the deck. And uh, everyone has to write down a convincing sounding definition and trick everyone into thinking that it's the real definition. And everyone submits them, I'll read them aloud with the real one mixed in. Okay. And then everyone gets a chance to guess which one they think is the real definition from the fakes. And if somebody guesses yours, you get a point? Right, and if you guess the right one, then they get two then points. Get Let me ask you this. Uh, how long did it take you uh, from the point of deciding that you wanted to make this a game to having this right here? Uh, 13 weeks, actually. Really? Oh, wow. Fast. Yeah. Worked fast. Yeah. Was like, it like a moment when you were like, oh my god, this needs to be a game? Yeah. Very well, cool. so I mean, me and friends have been playing it for a long time as just like a ghetto version on like paper and stuff. Oh, that's fun. And then it's like for more than five years. And then nice. just so one day it occurred to me. Yeah, there's a lot of play testing. <laughs> you uh, you and, cut them out. Yeah, they're not like, <laughs> like <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Five rounds. Uh, first to uh, whoever gets the most. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> first word Singapore slinger. Did you write something really dumb? I write something real dumb. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so they're all in there. They're all in. Mine really sucks. Now Chris is I'll be slouching when you read it. I couldn't even possibly be true. <laughs> Singapore Slinger. Singapore Slinger. All right. Number one. Dude who's excellent at tossing pizza crust. Okay. Singapore Slinger. Number two. Another word for a soccer goalie. Okay. <laughs> Singapore Slinger, an alcoholic beverage made with cinnamon whiskey. Oh. Is that yours, Elliot? No, but it sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Singapore Slinger, a pimp for ladies from Singapore. Singapore Slinger, a one-hit wonder from the 80s. Ooh. He was a Singapore Slinger. That was a really good song. I do remember that. <laughs> Singapore Slinger, a member of Singapore's pro basketball team, the Slingers. I said number three, the alcoholic beverage. The alcoholic beverage, Singapore Slinger. Uh, yeah, I'll go with that too. <laughs> uh, you're, right, you're not in. in. I'm not in. I know um, the answer. The, the basketball. Basketball. The last, basketball the last one. What was the second one? The second one. Second one, reread. Yeah. Another S word for a soccer goalie. No, I'm gonna go with three also. The alcoholic, alcoholic drink. Which one was it? The true answer was the basketball team. Boom oh. and whiskey. Oh. Boom. Oh, so what? Well, I got how many points I got? Five. Man. Five for the Joe. <laughs> I retire right now. I retire. You should have known. No one would ever make an actual cocktail with cinnamon whiskey. <laughs> Ever. Cinnamon That's for whiskey? sororities. No, no. And to drink straight, you don't eggnog. add it to something. No, you add it to eggnog. It's really you good. You shouldn't. Well, maybe eggnog, but eggnog shouldn't be drank anyway. Oh, that felt good. That's fair. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really you make good line. games. Thanks, man. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man, you make good games. I like good games. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, next word. Rat trick. Brat? Rat. Rat. Oh, R-A-T. Space. Trick. Rat trick. Mm. Rat trick. Doo-doo. Here we go. <laughs> Rat trick. Rat trick. A magician's act that can only be performed with rodents. Rat trick. When a hockey player scores two goals and kills a rat in a locker room. <laughs> God, I hope rat trick. A skateboarding maneuver where the body is parallel to the board in midair. Rat trick. A scientific theory published in a non peer reviewed journal. Uh, rat trick, a term for when a player misses, misses three shots in a row in hockey. Hmm. Rat trick, allowing a rodent to enter a roommate's space and seeing how long it takes for them for the discovery. Elliot, you go first this time. Oh, we, uh, we go back. Rotating goes first. Yeah. All right. 
Okay, I'm going between two, but I think I'm gonna go with the scientific theory. Scientific. I, mean, no, I played a lot of Tony Hawk. I played a lot of Tony Hawk. I don't think they called it that. <laughs> 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 but I'm gonna go with it. I'm going with skateboarding. Parallel skateboarder. The not the hockey with going to kill a rat in the locker room, but the other the other hockey. Missing three, three shots is what you're going with. I'm also going with missing three shots in hockey. Mm -hmm. What was it? It was uh, hitting the, the rat in the locker room afterwards in conjunction. Shut up! That was the real That's definition? Rat really? Yes. <laughs> you sold me on hockey. What? Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. Missing two shots and then killing no, a rat? No, scoring two and then, and then killing, 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 killing a rat in the locker room. <laughs> what? That's Round three. All right, here dun, we got dun, it. Soil sample. Soil. Space. Sample. Soil sample. A sample of a human stool. Very literal. Soil sample. Scraping dog dew from your tennis shoe. Soil sample. Falling face first and eating dirt. Soil sample. The tiny poo stain in your dirty underwear. Soil sample. The act of shitting your pants and leaving your soiled underwear in a public restroom. Joe Barada. <laughs> I guess if you're already in the restroom, why would you leave your? Why would you be pooping your pants? You should ask that man right I there. Don't know. <laughs> depends on what you're, I wrote that one actually. I just undecided. <sighs> soil sample. A sample of fucking soil. <laughs> okay. Joe goes first. Joe <laughs> just because I thought it, it's a it's a sample of fucking soil. That's what it is. <laughs> okay. That's immediately what I thought. Because that's what it is. If it's from Urban Dictionary, I go with that too. Huh. Oh, you mean yours is yours is the same on the if sample. it's from Urban Dictionary. If it's from, I'm just, so you're not saying Urban... officially it's just if it's from Urban Dictionary. I mean I'm my my bet is on <laughs> your, that your it's a sample on. of okay. fucking soil. Fair enough. I'm going with poo stain. On what? I think there were two poo stains. A poo stain underwear. <laughs> a tiny a bit of simple, poo. Tiny bit of poo. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the tiny bit of poo that stains your underwear. The answer is falling face first and oh. 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 I will, however, take your points. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> Dick offset. Dick, D I C K. Can you spell that, please? Yes. Yeah. Space offset, all one word, O F F S E T. Dick offset. Oh, all right, here we go. Here we go. All right. Woo! Dick offset, round four. <coughs> A penis that leans to either the right or the left. Number two, a penis that hangs to either the left or the right. <laughs> oh my god, which okay. is Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, see, Joe and Elliot and Dick spend a lot of time together, so I'm thinking. <laughs> Dick offset. Rounding up whatever rando skanks to join you, offsetting the wieners in your group so you can get into a club or party. <laughs> 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 Okay. Dick offset <laughs> when someone acts like a jerk, but the blame is placed elsewhere. Mm. Dick offset. Dick oh. offset, a penis extension. Dick offset, the direction in which a flaccid penis hangs. I.e., are you dick offset left or dick offset right? Ugh. A lot of penis hanging. Yeah. Dang, well, it doesn't say dick in it. Are you dick offset left or dick offset right? Which, hey, hey you're are always you, wondering. Are you dick offset left? <laughs> are you dick offset right? I mean, how often do you Dad, let's be honest. Dad, are really? you dick? <laughs> I need to know if I'm a freak. <laughs> I'm center, man, I swear. Anyway. Oh. Okay, so your first, Sam? Yeah, Sam. Yeah. First. Uh, the, the, the skank one. That one. Skank one. Going skanky, Yeah, going skanky. Yeah. Okay. Going skanky. That was my initial gut response, but after the recap reading, I think I'm gonna go with IE. IE? Uh, I'm gonna go with clubbing. Skanks in the club. Skanks, Skanks in, the club. in the club. I'm gonna go with uh, the first dick one. <laughs> <laughs> the lean, the dick lean. Yeah, it's tempting to dismiss so both of them on account of their similarity. 
Dick Lean. Well, the real answer is the skanks in the club. Ah, That's the club. I got a pull. You got a Dick Lean? I, that was what he was going to go with. Skanks in the club. So who was hanging? Who was lean? I was hang. I was you lean. were lean. Um, I was You were IE? <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right, guys. Pittsburgh Brown Bucket. When a godless human clogs a toilet, leaving it unflushable for another poor soul to find. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Uh, Pittsburgh Brown Bucket. When a really hammered person is left to sleep it off in a bedroom with a puke bucket, they mistake the bucket for a toilet and take a dump in it. That's unfortunate. And specific. Yeah, how common is that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Like Ricky <laughs> Pittsburgh Brown Bucket again. <laughs> Ricky, this is for No, no, he didn't poop in it, so he didn't do the Pittsburgh Brown Bucket. <laughs> it's still just a bucket. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Pittsburgh Brown Bucket. A bucket of... <laughs> Pittsburgh Brown Bucket, a bucket of Pittsburgh Brown, a.k.a. shit. Oh. Okay. All right. Pittsburgh Brown Bucket, the Dust Bowl equivalent in Pennsylvania during the 1960s. <laughs> Pittsburgh Brown Bucket, another term for a toilet post-explosive diarrhea. Two toilet ones. Pittsburgh Brown Bucket, the toilet in a steel barge on Lake Erie. Um, that's it. Okay, that last place? time I didn't go with Where's my gut, it? and I should have. So this time I'm gonna go with my gut, which is the godless human. Godless human? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with godless human too, actually. I thought you were about to like break it down just then. No, I think, is, is, that, like, is that the first one? Yeah. Godless yes, human that was the first one I read. Uh, Lake Erie. Okay. All right. Lake Erie. Is Pittsburgh even on Lake Erie? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with the really oddly specific one about the puke bucket. And the poop? In the poop. I'm going with that one. And you would be correct about it. Whoa! Whoa! She didn't make a fun of that one forever. <laughs> Who's Lake Erie? You Lake Erie? Who's Lake Erie? I was Lake Erie. That was good. I like that Lake Erie one. Wow! I, I provided okay. the gods. So wait. Good start. Thank you. Oh, that's so that's nice. He's very angry. Yay! This was very fun. Please go get yourself a copy and play with your friends and have a good time. It's called Deck Around. Uh, where can you get it again? Deckaround.com. Deckaround.com. There you go. Thanks, you guys. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks for spending time with us. And guys, don't forget to support Indie Games any chance you can. Thanks for watching. Bye. We're all godless humans. <laughs>